Welcome back here in the post game. Jeff Blank been joined right now by Chris Nelson, the head basketball coach for the Glidden Ralston Wildcats. Coach, a nice win here tonight. You guys moved to four and three now on the season. Kind of gathered a little bit of momentum there right before the break and kept that coming out tonight here. Uh, what did you think about the ball game? Uh, I thought we played all right. I mean, the first half you could tell uh, didn't necessarily have our legs. I don't know, but we tried to condition pretty good over break. <laughs> it, it came around a little bit, but uh, we had a good finish for the first half. And then uh, the second half, it was kind of back and forth, and we kind of got a little separation. And, and the nice thing we did is they kept getting closer, but we always had an answer, and that's nice to see. I was going to say, Coach, uh, foul trouble in that first half. I think you had nine of them before the end of the first quarter. Uh, kind of makes it tough. You had some guys that you really would like on the floor, probably sitting on the bench a little bit more than you wanted them to. Yes, we had, you know, Jason had a very good first half. Unfortunately, got some fouls. And the nice thing for us is we do have depth, so that's a good thing. And our guys came off the bench, did all right, but I think uh, the second half, everybody played much better in general. And uh, I think well, fatigue got us a little bit in the first half and we kind of started reaching and just not really doing our sole jobs of boxing out and we got a couple fouls that way. Fitzpatrick hurt you with some early threes, but you guys kind of shut him down and really handled the carry kid really well yeah. tonight. Uh, you know, Jake's a good ball player for him. He's kind of our first focal point and we made him, we wanted to make him work. Um, we thought, you know, Fitzpatrick kid hits a couple shots, it's not going to kill us, but uh, we got hot for a little bit. We had to do, uh, just make sure we knew where he was at, and we did a much better job in the second half. And our second half defense zone-wise was much better. We got underneath the high post and kind of took that drop away from him. Guys, patient offensively tonight at times, uh, and also at times uh, maybe missing some opportunities, which I'm sure you talked to the kids about there. Yeah, we, uh, we ran our offense much better the second half. We wanted to definitely try to get to the hoop a little bit more. They're not, I mean, they're not a real deep team. They don't have a lot of guys in general, so we knew they weren't going to foul, but you know, they, we're not going to get any fouls off jumpers. So we talked to, at the half to try to get in the, in the lanes and stuff. Jake Brugman did a really good job of that. And, Dan had some good plays down low, and Jason and Wes, and Dylan came much more aggressive second half as well. Talk about the play there of Aaron Rodriguez late, the big driving uh, layup when they went to the man-to-man, -to -man, uh, put you guys back up by three, and then uh, hit both free throws. One of them wiped away there late, though, but uh, still give you guys a two-possession lead. Yeah, uh, you know, Aaron, Aaron did a good job at the end. I mean, he got a little frustrated. His shot wasn't going, but he, he needs to keep shooting for us. He's a good shooter. And he, uh, testament to him just playing really well at the end. You know, we told him we're only shooting layups if we get them, and he took it right to the hoop hard, and he knocked two free throws down. Unfortunately, um, he'll probably get after Stowe for getting in the lane a little <laughs> early there, but uh, uh, he did a very good job along with the rest of the guards. We handled it well, the ball handled the ball well at the end of the half, end of the game. Coach, are you happy with the defense there on uh, what turned out to be Peyton Shredan's last possession? They kind of ran a lot of time off and got themselves a good look down in the lane, but uh, not much time left in the game at now, that point. We, you know, we wanted to go man because we just wanted to take away any three-point chances and just switch that. And then when they took it out with the zone, we did a good job of just knowing where the carry kid was at. And uh, you know, if they wanted to get a two, that's we wanted to at least make some time go off the clock before they got it. We did a really good job of executing that. Coach, you happy with the team's at uh, coming out of the break now? Uh, and what's the schedule look like for you guys? Uh, well, we'll be Charter Oak on Tuesday, who I, from what I've seen on stat stuff, you know, they've got some nice players. It looks like they kind of struggle a little bit. We've got Exile uh, Elkhorn the, at Friday at home. Um, and hopefully we can play well and get ourselves some more confidence and keep progressing because we got a, obviously a big one with our weave on Saturday. Well, Coach, we appreciate you joining us here. Congratulations on the win and best of luck coming up next week. Right, thank you. Head Coach Chris Nelson again with the Glidden Halston Wildcats.